AP Calculus, notes 9.1, how to find the area of an oblique triangle. I think we all know that in general, to find the area of a triangle, you take one half the length of the base times the height. Now the base is determined to be the length of any of the sides of the triangle. But the height has to be the altitude that is perpendicular to that base. So like in this picture, our base would be A, and we could use the height of H because it's perpendicular with an altitude. Now this formula, it works out great if you have a right triangle or if you know what the height is. But you don't always know what the height is. So let's look at this example and see if we can figure out a new formula that we can use based upon this if we don't know what the height of the triangle is. Suppose that B, which is AC, is nine in length. So let me add this to my picture. And that A, which is CB, is 17 in length. So our base is 17. And the measure of angle C is 67. So instead of us knowing the height, we know one of the sides that we're not using as the base, and we know one of the angles that are between the two sides that we were given. So in other words, we're given two sides and included angle. Using the formula from geometry, what variable is unknown given the information. Well, we do not know the height. It says variable, which is referring to h. Is there a way to figure this out using right angle trig? Well, if we focus on this right triangle here and the 67 degrees, we have the opposite leg we're trying to find the length of, and we know the hypotenuse. So if we were to say, sine of 67 degrees is the opposite leg over the hypotenuse, we would find that the length of the hypotenuse is 9 sine of 67 degrees. 67 is the included angle and 9 is the uh, one of the sides here that's including that angle. Once we know that, then if we use the age-old formula of a triangle, it's one-half the base times the height. And the base is 17. And now we know the height is this hot mess. We can just plug that in right there, which we're going to do over here because I didn't need to write that. So the area is one-half the base. We're saying the base is 17. We're saying the height is 9 times sine of 67 degrees. If you put that into your calculator, it's about 70.419. We weren't given units, so we'll just say it's square units. That leads us to this formula. The area of a triangle, and this is if, it's, if we don't know the height. And I'm just going to underline something here. A and sine of B, A times sine of B is the height of this triangle using right angle trig, and C is the base. Long story short, if you're given two sides and included angle of a triangle, you can find the area of that triangle by taking one half, multiply the two lengths that you're given together, and multiply that by sine of the angle that's included between them. Example uh, number five, find the area of the triangle. Every time you use this formula, you're going to write it down first. A half times AB times sine of C. Now, these letters aren't magical here. That's why I specifically chose them. They're different than what was over here. A and B are any two sides. But the angle that you're given here has to be the angle between those two sides. So this area, let's say A is the 10 and B is the 18, and angle C is 50 degrees. If you put this in your calculator, you're going to find this is about 68.944. We were not given units, so it's square units. This needs memorized in the context of A and B are two sides of a triangle, and C is the included angle. That concludes video four of seven for notes 9.1.